hello guys uh, welcome to process engineering guide channel and today we are going to discuss about uh, how to size PSV uh, in high sys simulation uh, where we will be discussing about uh, finding the relief load and uh, size the PSV and uh, or we can say select the respective orifice for that particular uh, scenario uh, today we mainly focus on the fire external fire scenario and i have uh, taken one example you can see here uh, where we have one vertical vessel uh, which has elevation uh, from grade 3 meter up to the bottom tan level and uh, the vessel diameter is 1.5 meter uh, the vessel which is filled with liquid and the li maximum liquid height or we can say the high liquid level inside that vessel uh, from BTL is 5.2 meter a vessel head type is hemispherical and vessel has no insulation uh, tan to tan height is around 10 meter and the liquid which is inside the vessel which it's uh, water and uh, the plant has good firefighting facilities uh, and arrangement um, or there so and the design pressure of that particular vessel is 3.5 kg per cm square kg vessel has only one single psv and total back pressure at the outlet of psv is point point uh, three kg per cm square kg okay fine so uh, w what is your uh, findings uh, today so we will find uh, like what should be the psv relief load for the fire case only and what size of PSV should be selected for the calculated relief load okay so these are the uh, two main uh, motive we have uh, let's move ahead so uh, you can see uh, I have just uh, uh, draw one simple schematic uh, for your understanding you can see uh, there is a fire at the grade level and the flames are coming uh, around this vessel this blue area is a, a liquid inside that vessel and this is the grade level zero zero meter from the grade level uh, the bottom tan line is three meter of that vessel uh, then from btl uh, we have a high liquid level which is around 5.2 meter tan to tan is 10 meter then the diameter of this vessel is 1.5 meter as we said in that uh, problem statement uh, then the uh, head of this uh, vessel as a hemispherical okay right uh, then we have the operate uh, operating pressure is 2 kg per cm square gauge and the operating uh, temperature is 40 degrees celsius and the fluid is water inside that vessel All right uh, then we have a psv uh, at the top of that uh, vessel uh, which is set at 3.5 kg per cm square kg uh, which is equal to the design pressure of this vessel okay uh, right and you can see uh, the maximum fire height uh, is 7.6 meter as per the api 521 so i have marked like up to this height the flame will reach so this this will be the maximum height the flare can reach as per the api 521 okay all right the next uh, just for your information uh, i have uh, written the formula here like how much heat can be absorbed uh, when the fire uh, is around that particular vessel so q is nothing but the heat absorption in that particular uh, liquid uh, so it will be c into f into a raised to 0.82 so what is q q is nothing but the total heat absorption to, uh, to the weighted surface uh, expressed in watt which is si unit uh then c is the empirical constant uh, which has two values one is 43200 uh when we have uh, adequate drainage uh, or firefighting facilities available then we can uh, took this 43200 and if we don't have adequate drainage and uh, or the fire facility uh, firefighting facilities available then we need to go with this higher value 70900 
all right then f is nothing but the environmental factor uh, from this table uh, which i taken from the api 521 you can see there are the different values uh, like for the bare vessel which has no insulation so it should it would be one when there is insulated based on uh, insulation conductance of that particular insulation uh, we can took uh, any value from this depends on the insulation conductance right uh, then aw s it means the it is nothing but the total wetted surface area uh, or you can say the liquid uh, on which area the liquid is av uh, available uh, inside that vessel so that is nothing but the total wetted area right then this is nothing but the allowable overpressure for the different scenarios so in our we are we will be mainly mainly focus on the fire so uh, as per the asmes in asme section 8 21% uh, maximum allowable pre working pressure i made a sorry as per the asme section 8 21% uh, overpressure is allowed uh, at the inlet of the psv all right so okay so now we will uh, go in the simulation part so i have opened the high seas then in the new you can create new case okay right and here you have to add the component so mainly we only have the water okay so i have add the water then i need to select the fluid package so for the water we will select asme steam right okay so we have add the components select the fluid package now we will enter in the simulation part perfect now uh, i'll take one material stream uh, then i will define its conditions so we have the uh, this will be the operating condition inside that vessel so temperature is 40 and pressure is uh, i think 2 kg per cm square kg right uh, now we need to uh, define the composition okay so water it will be one it means there is no other component only water so mole fraction mass fraction it is same so i'll consider one then uh, unknown flow rate so uh, we will just consider one kg per hour flow rate it doesn't matter it will not impact on our psv okay so we'll just show table you can see i'll just remove this molar flow I can rename this stream to maybe water. So once uh, we define the stream, you can enter the safety analysis part. So I have just click on the safety analysis. Now you can see uh, at the top there is option add PSV. So you can just click on that and you can see the dot here. Just click on that dot the psv will come here once the psv uh, is visible you can double click on that psv now uh, this operating temperature it's taken from the reference it, it it means that we which we have mentioned in that stream that data directly uh, taken uh, by the high seas you can also put by manual if you want to change that temperature but for now we'll just keep it as a reference then design temperature so uh, for now we just consider 200 degrees celsius is the design temperature of that vessel and um, this operating pressure is also uh, taken from that particular stream uh, which is in bar gauge so we can also put uh, in manual as well so right then next is the design pressure so uh, the design pressure is 3.5 kg per cm square okay right so we have defined the design pressure design temperature right now we will enter uh, 
in scenarios right you can see uh, there is an option like create scenarios so once we click that create scenario you can name that scenario like external fire case then you can select this is the sizing case because we only have one sizing case if you have many then you can select whichever is the governing case so currently we only have we will be only uh, sizing for the external fire so i'll select this is the sizing case then you need to define the type so once you uh, click on the drop down there are several cases will come up but we will only focus on the fire case so just click on that that fire case okay right so now just double click here you will enter uh, in this scenario setup okay right so scenario name is external fire case uh, scenario type is fire now here uh, you need to select the stream so we only have one stream uh, water so just select that stream or you can select as per your convenient on which stream you want to install that PSV just select the stream so I am selecting the water now uh, you can see the relieving pressure which is coming 4.153 how the 4.153 uh, one five three is coming just click on that you can see this allowable over pressure is 21 percent which we had discussed here like for the spatial uh, for the fire as per asme section asme 8 it is 21 percent allowable over pressure right so 3.43 into 1.21 it will come around 4.153 so from there then the total back pressure this is by default value 10 percent uh, the high has taken but in our uh, statement we have like uh, 0.3 in our problem statement we have 0.3 kg mm, okay so we just consider 0.3 bar okay then right that is okay now you can see this is the weighted area exponent so we will keep 0.82 as for the formula then there is option for drainage and firefighting facility so in our problem statement we said that uh, plant has a good firefighting arrangement so you can click present then calculated latent heat yes uh, we need the calculated latent heat by the software if you want to put yourself then you can just put no and you can enter your latent heat but for now we'll just keep yes the ISIS will calculate the latent heat okay then uh, here you can see the number of vessel so currently we only have one vessel and then specify the equipment dimensions yes so we have the dimensions so vessel type is vertical and uh, vertical there are two options vertical including bottom head vertical no bottom head so we need to include the bottom head so i'll select this option vertical including bottom head then head type so we have hemispherical head then the diameter diameter is 1.5 meter and to 10 is 10 meter then okay. liquid level yeah so liquid level is uh, 5.2 meter inside the vessel then the elevation this is the elevation from grade level so we have three meter this is three meter of elevation from the grade level this is the liquid height 5.2 meter right and maximum flame height as per the api 521 it is 7.6 so we will keep 7.6 and this additional area uh, 15 percent which uh, it's taken because there might be some piping uh, around the equipment so just to accommodate that piping area we have considered 15 percent additional area you can take more as per your convenient then there is 
calculate f factor so uh, currently we will be not calculating the f factor because there is no insulation so environmental factor will be one if there is insulation then you can just call yes and you need to mention this insulation uh, k value and insulation thickness based on that uh, it will calculate the environmental factor but for now we will just keep no and environmental factor as the one because we don't have any insulation if you see this table uh, yeah sorry this one so we don't have insulation which is a bare vessel so environmental factor f is one so we have selected one okay so you can see the total heat input calculated by the high cis is around 2.459 into 10 raised to 6 kilojoule per hour and the relieving flow is 1169 kg per hour so that is the relieving flow rate for this uh, dimensions and the properties the latent heat calculated by the you can see the latent heat calculated by the high is 2104 kilojoule per kg okay then we'll come to the main part now the uh, this is the this is one part like we have calculated uh, the relieving flow rate and the second part is uh, select the orifice now uh, as per the high is selected orifice is 4.386 cm square if you uh, just select click on the select button isis will automatic select the next size uh, next orifice size so you can see like for the g orifice uh, the uh, flow area is 3.245 cm square and our calculated 4.386 so after 4.386 next size is 5.064 so it's selected by the isis so yeah i think i think yeah that's it so okay right so then another option manual reference if you want to put manual flow rate you can just put the manual like 2000 3000 but for now we'll just keep calculated right so then you can see the fluid properties at relieving conditions okay type of flow is critical molecular weight then relief composition currently we do we only have water so it will be h2 one okay then okay then that's it uh, i hope you have enjoyed the video please uh, like comment and share and also subscribe uh, for the new videos and if you have uh, if, if you want to know more about the uh, high seas or uh, if you want to know more about the PSB sizing in the high seas, you can just email me on this process engineering 0605 at the gmail.com and I'll reply you uh, as soon as possible. So, okay, thank you guys.